Good morning, SK. I'm Sierra Technis, and happy Friday. Jumping straight into general news. The annual SKHS FFA plant sale is back. It will be May 7th and 8th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the SK Greenhouse above the pool. Be sure to bring your cash and your mask. Now let's send it to Connor on camera two for something serious we need to talk about today. What's up, SK? Today you may notice some of your fellow wolves not speaking. They are taking part in the Day of Silence. It is a national student-led event where LGBTQ students and their allies all around the world take a vow of silence to remember how the harassment and prejudice has been experienced by those in the LGBTQ community. Support your fellow wolves as they make this stand today and every day. Let's show that no matter what, the pack always has their back. Thanks, SK. Thanks, Connor. Reminder that Season 3 sports start May 3rd. Make sure your physical is up to date. Bowling and boys tennis need more athletes. Baseball and track have their senior nights tonight. Wear your mask and check out the track events or watch the baseball team's five seniors take to the field for the second to last time. Why second to last? Well, that's because on Tuesday, baseball will hold their annual tribute to the troops game against Gig Harbor. Need some more senior night action? Fast Pitch and Men's Soccer will have their senior nights Tuesday and Men's, men's Swim and Dive will have theirs on Thursday. Show your SK pride and cheer on our senior wolves. On the topic of seniors, Friday, April 30th will be the senior class photo. Students A through K will need to enter through the stadium entrance at 1 p.m. Students L through Z will be dismissed from class at 1.15 p.m. The picture will take place on the stadium field. It's been a while, but we have Miss Nass back with some Career Center news. Hello, Wolves. Next week, we are hosting Leuna and Universal Technical Institute on Monday and Tuesday for all students who are interested in an apprenticeship in the trades or working in the automotive industry. Check out the grade level classroom for the times and links. Also, everyone should make sure you're completing your lessons in Zello. Every grade level has required lessons to complete. These lessons are valuable and can help you with your future. If you need help or want to see if you have completed everything, contact me in the Career Center. Don't wait till your senior year to take care of this state requirement. Lastly, seniors, check out the job board for summer positions at South Kitsap Fire Department, City of Port Orchard, and Kitsap County Public Works. And remember, if you have any questions, come see me in the Career Center. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Ms. Nass. And for those that didn't know, the Career Center is a great place to get help with scholarships. Some scholarships that are due soon include the Maynard Lundberg, Student View, Puget Sound Engineering and Science, and the Seraptimus of Port Orchard Scholarships. See the Career Center for more information. Freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, keep an eye on your grade level classrooms next week. ASB election voting starts Monday. Get your voice heard and vote on who you want to lead your class and the student body for next school year. Not sure who to vote for? Candidates' profiles are already posted in your grade level classroom. Take a look and see what they have to say. Be informed, then vote. And if you want to represent the whole school and not just your class, time is running out to be the SKHS student rep to the school board. Get your application in the main office now. Applications are due by next Friday. Let's send it to Jacob in the science hallway. Back by popular demand, the Salmon Race. Join our high school team started by SEM Club and Oceanography. This year's team is SK School of Fish. Go to Survive the Sound website, pick a fish you want to race, scroll down and put your name and other required information. The race will start on May 3rd and go through the 7th. Reminder, these are real salmon trying to make it to the ocean. Teams win by number of fish that survive the journey. Check out the link on the screen if you're interested. Back to you, Sierra, in the studio. Thanks, Jacob. Okay, SK, we need to have a serious talk. Let's send it to Connor again for another serious topic. For those that don't know, Mr. Goodwin spoke to the school today reminding everyone not to slack with our distancing and masks. Sadly, SK has almost reached 300 cases per 100,000, which is 80 more than anywhere else in the county. We need to turn this around. We'd ar we've already seen other counties like Pierce go back to phase two, and they could possibly go back to phase one. We can do better. I know we can. So keep those masks on and over your nose. Keep at least six feet from others and follow the SK COVID protocols while on campus. We're close to having this beat, so we shouldn't give up now. Thanks, Connor. Reminder that artwork for the SK Art Show is due April 30th, and you can submit up to 20 pieces. Use the QR code on screen to submit. The Art Show website will be live May 21st. And that looks like all we have today. Have a great weekend, SK, and let's roll the schedule of events.